Man, I sure do love potions, but one thing has always bothered me. There's nothing you can do with the bottle, and it just takes up space in your inventory. Oh well, I guess it'll just stay in my inventory forever. Yum! Cursed Minecraft mods. You've seen them, you love them. These mods add completely unnecessary features to Minecraft that do completely unconventional things, and they are uh, a bit chaotic. And today we experience them firsthand. I've got a fresh installation of Minecraft here in the Modrinth launcher with some basic performance mods, and I'm gonna be scrolling through the curse section to find the weirdest of the weird. My only rule is that I have to give each mod a classic Ryan Trahan five-star review. Gotta find the good and the weirdest side of Minecraft, right? For example, a little crunchy, but my inventory feels lighter now. Great addition and a smart solution to one of the problems of all time. Five stars. I already know which one I want to do next. Install! Lash Highland Start. Effects enabled. Oh, oh, what the heck? <laughs> this is Highland Chaos, which is inspired by some sort of mod to Yoshi's Island, and it uh, essentially spawns items and entities. What the heck is this? What? What? There's- oh, I got- I got Mourner Pottery Shirts. A stone axe! Curse of Vanishing 8? 7? What is that number? This essentially does a ton of wild things. Uh, and constantly changes all the time and I have no idea what's going on. Sometimes items just appear on the ground. Sometimes entities just spawn in and start floating around like, hello, squid. I'll sometimes get like status effects. Like I just got levitation there. There's a puffer fish and I would love it if it would randomly give me some food. That would be great. Oh, oh no. Oh, there they go. What the, why is there snow here? What? Where did the- 54 sticky pistons? What the heck? Okay, what if I just try to get some wood? This leaf just fell. What? Can I just get some- I just need some logs. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. There's a blaze in the overworld. I'm gonna try to kill it. Don't go away. Don't go- Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh my gosh, it's moving so fast. Come back here. Come back here. What the- Why? It's riding the polar bear. Elytra? What the- I'm putting those on. Oh my gosh. Oh, polar bear. Polar bear, polar bear, polar bear. Where did the blaze go? The blaze is just gone. Armor trims. Oh my gosh. 23 armor trims. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep eating my glass bottles, even though it doesn't give me any food. There's a Ravager, and now the polar bear is riding the Ravager. I don't know what to do. <laughs> hey, parrot, how's it going? Can I get some food, please? Dirt has just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, chicken, chicken. Whoa, I got a jump boost, whoa. Whee. Are those diamond blocks? Hold up. Yes, diamonds. I got, I just got an Enderman spawn egg, okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Enderman <laughs> spawn egg, oh, there it goes. <laughs> What the? <laughs> oh no, oh, the Enderman's riding this. Okay, I still need food. I still don't have food at all. Why is this block float? What is happening? This is insane. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, bye, buddy. <laughs> so like all the entities kind of just go crazy. I wonder what happens if I uh, craft a boat. Boop. Boat, excellent. Oh, carrot. One singular carrot, excellent. Okay, boat time. Boop, boop. Oh boy, oh gee, oh, I'm already underwater. Uh, I'm sinking. Why am I sinking? I'm out of the boat now. Uh, oh, the boat's just gone. Boat's, boat's just gone. Oh, okay, okay, Acacia Doors, nice. Theoretically, it's probably possible to beat the game without going to like any fortress or anything. Hello, turtle. You could literally have eyes of ender and end portal frames drop and just appear in the world randomly. Like they would just appear there and then you could beat the game. I just got spruce wood. I still have not seen any food. There's a camel. Hello, camel. Oh, 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 I thought that was food. It wasn't food. It was gold nuggets. There's a sniffer. Oh. Hey, oh, geez. Okay. Oh, and it's now it's riding a llama. Trader llama spawn eggs. What happens if I just spawn a ton of these? Wee. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's riding an enderman. What the? They're just riding each other now. Oh my gosh, this is insane. This is so much. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Can I get some food, please? I need food. Uh, birch doors are not food. Oh, oh, single poisonous potato. Yay, my my favorite food. Uh, food. Finally. Oh, my boots are on my head right now. What the heck? Oh man. Uh. uh <laughs> okay. I think I'm ready to write my review. I'll rate this mod five stars when pigs fly, and when polar bears fly, and when sniffers fly, and when horses fly, and when all of my items fly. Five stars. Ah, oh, man, you know, I just really want to go to the driest place on the planet. You know, the driest place that I could possibly get to uh, would be the nether, right? Yeah, because it's all fire, and, and, it's, and, it's, and it's scary, and it's fire, and it's hot. There's no water anywhere. Oh, I'm stuck in a wall. That's all right, I got my trusty pickaxe to get out here to this very dry, very, very warm place. 
Yes, yeah, oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's just full of water. Welcome to the flooded nether, where I am gonna grab this netherite because it's right here. Uh, no aqua affinity. Uh. Yeah. Now I'm gonna immediately place it down here to update all of this lava. Yep, that's crazy. That's actually wild. Oh man. Yeah, so all of the air pockets in the nether have just been completely replaced with water. Other than a couple locations. The first of which is the nether fortress. As you can see, here we are. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna take advantage of the water. You guys can't get me. <laughs> you guys can't get me. Too slow, too slow, too slow. <laughs> Ow, gosh. Ah, uh, air pockets. Beautiful. This is so strange. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Get out of here. Go away. Go away. No, no, no. Don't hit me. Don't hit me, please. Don't hit me, please. Don't hit me, please. Don't hit me. Gotta keep him at bay. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Wow. This is this is just insane looking. Into the water. Very nice. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's right. Blazes. Oh, and he died because it's water. Oh, that's actually insane. Oh, my gosh. Wait. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, that's fine. I'm not on fire anymore. <laughs> Dude, this is a great way to get blaze rods. Uh, well, I guess that makes sense. All right. But the nether fortress isn't the only structure in the nether. Uh, we got to go to find a bastion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Where does the air begin? I don't know where the air begins. I'm going to drown. Oh, 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 oh. Hey there. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh no. Uh oh. This is a bad. This is a problem. This is bad. This is such a. Pro this is a. This is a very big issue. This is not good. This is not. This bastion is cool. This bastion is crazy. I could come up here. I could see this area. Oh, this is actually wild. Oh jeez. Oh danger. Oh danger. That's fine. I can swim away. I don't have any gear, so I'm just gonna. Oh my gosh. There's so many of them. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. Uh oh. Oh jeez. I need to breathe. Okay, go. Oh, everybody. Everything is still obsidian down here. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drown again. Oh, where's the air? Where's the air? No. Well, think of a refreshing, warm beach with the cool waves of the sea keeping you comfortable. This was kind of like that, other than the struggle of breathing, but that's not super important. Five stars. Swimming is fun. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? Beautiful bees ready to go into their beehive. I'm sure when they re-enter the hive, nothing bad could possibly happen. Yup, yup. That's right. Head on into your beehive. <laughs> Just gonna, just gonna grab some of this. <laughs> Trapped! I've got them! I've got the bees in their bee nest! And now, they'll never be able to leave! <laughs> <laughs> That's bizarre, all right. This mod is called Unbelievable. And that's what it does. It makes it so the bees can't leave. This is the only thing that it adds. Uh, you have to saw it to believe it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just like the name of it. Rip bees, though. Five stars. Okay, now hear me out. What if everything was super slippery? What if, if I moved a little bit, I wouldn't be able to stop? Yep, I'm just, I'm just moving in this direction infinitely. I'm gonna just keep going this way, I think. Yep, I'm just gonna go around this way, probably. Yep, yep, yeah, you just keep, you just keep sliding. You just keep sliding. This is called Everything Infinite Ice, and essentially all it does is it allows you to slip and slide on any block in the game. This is especially fun in survival mode because uh, you just never know if you're gonna fall off a cliff. It's also really fun because you just constantly gain speed. So there's no limit to it like with regular Minecraft ice. You just keep, you just keep speeding up. So I could get, I can get real fast. I could get super fast. Oh my gosh. Zoom. Zoom. Oh, and this doesn't just work for me. Uh, it also works for other mobs. Punch. <laughs> he like picks up speed. I think this also works for items, right? Oh yeah. Oh yep. There it goes. Oh my gosh. Okay. This makes me want to try something. Here we go. Here we go. Super flat world, baby. If I just run in this direction, how fast can I go? Oh jeez, I'm being stopped by the slime. Zoom. I gotta avoid the slimes though. If I see any slimes, I gotta move. Woo! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh, there's a village. Oh, there's a couple villages. Oh, I'm gonna run into this one. Theoretically, too, this means that uh, these cows and stuff, if they get out, they could just infinitely go. Oh jeez. Oh, slimes. Oh, slime. Oh, cow, you stopped me. Yeah. I don't need these, though. Uh, 
Oh, oh, oh no. Well, those are gone. Oh, hey there, horsey. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh geez, the speed. The speed. The infinite speed. Oh yeah, I just, I'm so fast now that the slimes can't even, they can't even bother me anymore. They just can't. Oh geez, village. Uh! Oh yeah, this is great. Yeah, this is definitely a great way to play the game. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get back up to full hunger. I want to see how fast my hunger drains just by sprinting. Okay, watch the hunger. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh the speed. The beautiful thing is, honestly though, you don't even need a sprint. You can just you can just walk. You just go, and it just picks up speed. And you just get faster. And you just get faster. Ow. Turn, drift, drift towards the village. All right, I have created a super flat world with no structures and no mobs. Let's see how far I could go and as how fast I could go getting there. Oh my gosh, watch that, uh, that Z number. Look at it ticking up. Oh, it's getting fast. Oh, we're getting fast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just a casual 4,000 blocks in like two seconds. No big deal or anything though. Pretty effective. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the screen shake. The screen shake! Okay, well, uh, I think I'm good for my review now. I always wondered what it would be like if the Flash went ice skating, and this mod gave me that experience. I also now have calves of steel. Five stars. Oh, oh, hey, little guy. Oh, he's just this distressed little red guy. This is called distressed red ball. Oh, look at him. He's so distressed. It also said I can right click with him. Oh, <laughs> It squeaks! Oh my gosh, he's a distressed little red guy. Ah, You know, that red color reminds me of the subscribe button, except it's not that color anymore, which makes me sad. But the subscribe button is a white button now, so you could click it, you could do that. He's so cute though. Oh. Man, I miss that red subscribe button. Oh, and I guess that little guy was cute too. Five stars. So here's a pretty common scenario. You want to pick up an axolotl and bring it home because they're cute. Well, all you gotta do is pick it up with a bucket. Pretty easy, right? Yeah, a bucket of axolotl. That's a pretty normal thing to get. But what if you wanted, like, literally any other mob? Like, let's say, perchance, I want to take one of these guys. Oh boy, oh boy, here we go, here we go. Oh boy, here he comes. Okay, hey buddy. Yoink! <laughs> That's right, I've got a bucket of spider now. Oh, that's that's real weird. And of course, I could just place him anywhere I want to. Oh, I put down the torch. No, come on. I did see a witch over here. Can I, uh... Hey, yoink! <laughs> oh, look at the witch looking at me. Why? Why would you do this to me? I can't believe you entrapped me this way. Okay, okay, I'll let you free. I'll let you go for... I need the torch! <laughs> this mod is phenomenal. <laughs> what else can I find? Oh, hello. I parkour my way over. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Got him. I want this bat. I want this bat. Let me have the bat. Can I get the bat? Bat, bat. Where did it go? It's over there now. I'm gonna- Whatever, at least I have my bucket of chicken to keep me happy. What if I just do that and then I just boop? <laughs> oh, I didn't really wanna- I didn't wanna fight the wither here, actually. I wanted to fight it somewhere else. All right, let's go over here. Now that is cursed. Oh no, the warden has escaped. Just kidding. All right, Ender Dragon, come here. Oh boy, uh-oh. Just gotta wait for him to get close enough. Come on, Ender Dragon, perch. Perch, please. This better work. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be so sad. Come at me, bro. Uh, 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 oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, wait, never mind. I can just do that. Oh, it's perching, it's perching, it's perching, it's perching. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come here, come here. Let me, let me grab, let me grab, let me grab. Yes! <laughs> Oh, and it completes the end fight. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Easiest way to defeat the Ender Dragon. And now we just... This mod is the most powerful mod in history. It gives you the ability to defeat the final boss in Minecraft with one click and no armor. Absolutely perfect in every way and completely balanced. Five stars. Oh boy, I'm really excited about this one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. I was just gonna do a third person thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is flatter entities and um yeah sure enough I, I i see it i sure am a flatter entity <laughs> oh no oh gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh this feels like oddly stylistic like i almost feel like it works in a weird way you know like it just feels like it feels 
almost natural, but also not remote. Like, okay, maybe maybe it really doesn't. I don't know what's going on there. Oh my gosh, the bees with the fl the fluttering wings that don't flutter. They're just flat. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. It kind of like throws off your perspective a little bit. Like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Here's a question. Is this like every single entity? Oh, okay, so this is still the same. All right. Oh, <laughs> well, it works on the TNT. Uh, <laughs> that is wild. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, we got to do the wither skeleton. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the natural progression is, of course, the wither. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, yep. Uh huh. Yeah, that's yep. That makes sense. Uh huh. Yep. Mm -hmm, yep. That's wow. Minecraft. <laughs> This is not natural. <laughs> it's so funny. I can't even look at the- I can't look at the camera anymore. I can't- Why can't I look at the- Oh. Oh, no. This is- Oh, this is just- Okay. All right. I think I'm ready for my review. Oh, no, no. I feel like I'm constantly looking at billboards everywhere around me. And that's wonderful. I love free advertising. Five stars. All right. So, you know, I fixed the nether uh, a little bit from last time. You know, the water wasn't, you know, wasn't quite doing it for me. It wasn't really uh, a good nether experience. So, what I've done this time is, uh, I think a little better. Okay. All right. Cool. Excellent. Uh, uh, there's no roof here. Uh, you know, that's, that's a little weird. Um, maybe I should turn off the fog. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Let's get a bird's eye view of what we're dealing with here. Welcome to Overworldify. This is a mod that essentially makes the other dimensions generate like the overworld. So we've got giant lava oceans and mainlands full of the nether biomes. Structures still spawn, which is kind of awesome, actually, but the rest of the world just looks crazy. Look at the bastion over there. This is really weird. Look at that. Whoa, that's that's actually so cool seeing that like that. Whoa, this is so cool, actually. Like, I, I genuinely kind of, I could see playing with this. The lore of the nether being under the overworld, though, uh, kind of throws a wrench in, like, the logic of this. But who needs logic when things look like this? This entire video is illogical. I mean, you know, welcome to my channel. <laughs> You also get some weird world gen like this, where there's just a bastion in the middle of nowhere. But it's kind of cool. I don't mind it. It does give another reason for striders to exist, so that's nice. Hey there, buddy. Let's go across the ocean. This is actually a genuinely great way to get across this. That actually, this is kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely cursed, because this is not supposed to look like the overworld in any sense. But also, it's kind of cool. Like, I kind of I kind of like how it's looking. But it doesn't just affect the nether. It also affects the end. <laughs> oh boy. So you see, we do still get the Ender Dragon fight. We get this pretty normal. It's it's a pretty standard location for this right here in the center. But then you'll also notice that it just it just keeps going. You can just walk to the outskirts of the end. You know, you could just keep trekking. It looks like the moon. End cities are also still a thing, although this one is like the tiniest one ever. Oh, that one's better. <laughs> I assume this also means that if I go underground, oh yeah. Oh, there's totally cave systems. They're not useful in any way, but they're here. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, I'm ready for the review. The word I would use to describe this world gen is familiar. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Five stars. Oh boy, I can't wait for my whole new Minecraft world with completely normal parameters and nothing weird going on whatsoever. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's a lot of shipwrecks there too. Oh no. Oh, no. oh there's a village there. Oh, there's a. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow, this entire plains biome is just covered in villages. Man, that's some crazy world gen, guys. That's that's absurd. Oh, oh, actually, oh, there's more jungle temples here. Wow, that's, whoa. I thought those were rare. Dang. Oh, wow, desert village, desert pyramid. Oh, de another desert pyramid. Oh, another desert pyramid. This is the most speed runnable world ever. Man, that world sure was crazy, but surely it won't happen twice, right? I'm so excited. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> Oh no. Oh my gosh. Wow. This isn't a village anymore. This is a city. Oh my gosh. You can't even get in. If you couldn't tell already, this mod is called Many More Structures. And you guessed it, it adds many more structures. This is, nah, there's just no ending. There's no end. I want to find a dark oak forest real quick. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Yup. This, uh, 
This makes sense. Very rare structure. Very, very rare structure. You'll also notice the, <laughs> the nether portals just littered literally everywhere. <laughs> Any biomes that don't have structures are just covered in nether portals, which is great. Oh, double, triple, quadruple ancient city giant. Oh, wow. Oh, this is whoa. Okay, this got way more complex than I thought it would be. This is cool. This is neat. Imagine the loot. Imagine the loot. Oh yeah, with night vision, you get a way better glimpse of what's going on here. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Yeah, lots of structures. Uh, I'm ready for the review. Dang, bro, city skylines has never looked better. Did a new update drop or something? Five stars. All right, for this next one, I'm gonna need some string. Hey, yeah. Perfect. With this newfound string, I can craft some new tools. Starting with the old version of the brush. I mean, the string pickaxe. Yeah. Uh, a pickaxe made out of string. This is based on the Phoenix SC video where he does uh, something like this. And uh, this tool comes with silk touch built in because, uh, you know, silk. <laughs> so that's cool. So that's cool. But this mod goes a step further. There's a string shovel <laughs> and a string axe. And of course, a string sword. <laughs> and naturally, a string hoe. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yep. Yeah, these do what you might expect. They break. <laughs> hey, the silk touch is nice, you know? The silk touch is handy for all of the, like, what, 16, 15 blocks that it breaks. They're pretty efficient, you know, all things considered. This is actually, like, pretty solid. So we have string tools now. Um, did we need them? Not remotely. Do we have them now? Absolutely. Do I love them? Uh, uh yeah. Mm-hmm, sure. Let me just make myself some string boots. Oh, boy. I will say, though, the string boots are actually pretty great because you can, you can just walk through cobwebs and it's no problem. So that's that's kind of nice. Uh, bro really saw a silk touch and took that personally. Five stars. You know, shears are really a wonderful thing. They allow you to get infinite wool by just shearing the sheep and you know, then they're unharmed, they're fine. But you know what isn't renewable? Leather. It requires you kill the cows and you know, you get, you get a bunch of leather that way, but the cows die in the process. But what if you do want to just keep your cows? Uh, why not just... <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this mod is called Shear Cows, and yeah, it allows you to shear cows. <laughs> I promise it doesn't actually, it doesn't hurt them. I'd hope at least. They don't look that great. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. They don't they don't look like they're doing alright. Uh, hmm, uh, hmm, hmm. Don't worry though, eventually they'll eat some grass and they'll regrow their their skin. That guy just did it. Uh, I don't know if I like this one that much. This one's this one's a bit much, huh? Yeah. Um animal cruelty. I'm gonna stop shearing them. I'm gonna stop doing that. I have, I think I know what my review is though. Oh gosh, I have to give this one five stars. Oh geez. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if this was real, would Apple sell their leather cases again? I really like those. I think they might. Five stars. Minecraft, Minecraft realms, Java edition. Ooh, woo. This is not enough cursedness. And uh, the description for this mod literally says experience Minecraft in the most cursed way. I'm so ready for this. Um, what what can I do? Oh. Oh no. What? What is what the what the heck? <laughs> this is this is Polish stairs. Is that what this wait? Hold on. Oh my gosh, there's this oh no. <laughs> All of the polished stuff is the polished. It's po poli Polish. Polish? They're polished blocks. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's all sorts of blocks here. What? You idiot, this is wrong. Craft a Java block? How do I, how do you craft this? Pocket block? What is a pocket? Oh, oh. Yeah, that's, that sure is a pocket block. This is a blaze block. Does it light me on fire or something? What does it do? I don't know. Okay, blaze block. Gun block? Oh, it's the Lego, it's, the, it's a Lego blaster. Green birch log. Can I like make something with this? I can't, you can't. It's literally just green birch. It's just green, it's just a green birch log. And of course, uh, fletching stairs. You know, because why not, right? <laughs> diamond or ore. Yeah, that's fair. There's also deep slate diamond or ore. What happens if I mine the, the diamond? Oh, I can't. All right then. Oh no. You you are now dirty, haha, <laughs> get it? Oh boy. What does this do? Does it actually deal like any damage? That was three hits, four hits, five hits. Five durability. <laughs> uh, steel. <laughs> a negative flint, what is this, what? Oh wow, a letter, I just got a, I got a letter. Wow, what is that? Uh, does it do anything? I don't know if it, I don't think it does anything. Oh, well that, oh that makes sense. Yeah, chain mail. Uh, I don't know if I wanna play this game anymore. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is worrying, oh this is. 
<laughs> oh, why am I still here just to suffer? I can't believe it. Wow. What bed bedrock. Wow. Oh my gosh, you can craft diamond ore. And then naturally you can also craft diamond ore ore. Yeah, that makes sense. This is so cursed. This is this is so this is so much. And of course, we've got a helmet on a stick. Ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah, it's not. This doesn't do much. This is really this is really Okay, well, all right. <laughs> you can also, uh, you can just, you can use these as, uh, because that makes sense. This is definitely cursed. This is the, this is a very cursed mod. Might be one of the most cursed we've had all video. Five stars, five, five stars. Uh, hmm. As someone with a brand built on the idea of breaking Minecraft and someone that uses a lot of TNT and a lot of use cases, I have never seen TNT used as the base of a beacon. For that reason, and for that reason alone, I consider this mod innovative and ahead of its time. Incredible work, regardless of the physical pain I find myself in. Five stars. From edible bottles to ridiculous amounts of structures and flat entities, we've done a lot of ridiculous things today. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't look at you. Why do I have 26 observers? Which one was your favorite? I liked them all. They're all really cool. Oh gosh, this world is getting so insane. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Are you subscribed yet? I'm, I bet you, you better be. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build up. Thanks for watching this incredibly cursed video. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Oh boy, here we go.